is my little story. So uh, here's what I wanted to say. Our world is rapidly changing. Unfortunate, unfortunately, not only for the best, it seems. Since 2008, I am witnessing the acceleration of Western madness, and I start, it started to bother me. So in 2016, I went all in Bitcoin and crypto, and in 2018, I decided to leave France, where I was living at that time, and to quit the sinking boat. So, after all, I thought, you know, I'm not the captain of that ship, so there's nothing wrong about quitting the boat, right? So, Direction Mauritius, a small island in the Indian Ocean, not too far from the eastern coast of Africa. That's the time when I heard for the first time about Liberland. This was in 2018, so I went on their website, loved the idea, and registered on their newsletter, and that was it at that time. Mauritius, Mauritius and Liberland have actually something in common. When you mention those countries to most of people, you need a, a, a map to pinpoint where it is, because most of people have no idea where that is. So, uh, so Mauritius, yes, is on the eastern coast of Africa, quite not far actually from uh, Kenya, Somaliland, and from Madagascar. Being now since four years in Mauritius, I realized that it was one of the best decisions I made in my life. I hope it's the same for my family, but you'll have to ask them. They're all there. Actually, you met Julie a little before, <laughs> a little before me. Uh, once again, I realized that in life, taking risk is actually always beneficial, even though it's not so obvious at first. The process is always the same. You focus on what you will lose, and you're scared. And a few years after, you realize that you won much, much more, and actually what you lost becomes meaningless. So yes, life in Mauritius is great, absolutely great. I started my business there and a YouTube channel with much less uh, subscribers than <laughs> Drew. Uh, and uh, I'm very proud of the name of my YouTube channel, which is Crypto Paradise Consulting. So it's in French, maybe that's why I have few, so, so fewers, few, few viewers. Last October, I was in Dubai for a blockchain week, shaking hands, and here in front of me stands a guy named Vijedika, telling me he's the president of Liberland. So of course, I was like, boom. I couldn't stop asking him questions. And in the conversation, he tells me there are more than 70 representatives of Liberland around the world. I just heard today, even more than 80. He was with Susanna, the Dubai representative. Uh, after a few minutes, I asked if there, there was a representative in Mauritius. He said no, and here I am. I cannot emphasize enough how happy I am to have become a part of this amazing team. I already met incredible people, like Rav in New York, where I was a month ago, who is the Liberland representative of Dominican Republic over there, or uh, Juan Carlos, uh, who is the representative in El Salvador, where I was also a month ago, and uh, not to mention, of course, amazing people here in the Ark Village. They gave me lots of their time to uh, welcome me and explain how they are involved and what they achieved with their representative mission. A big thanks to them. So what's the job of a Liberian representative? Is being recognized by another country realistic? So what about Mauritius building relations with Liberian? That will be my focus from now on. I know there are lots of efforts in that direction and I'll do all I can to make it happen. Absolutely aware that it's a long process and that there are many small steps in the way. But what a great journey. Live and let live. So simple. What a great motto for our country. How I see it is that Liberland should have the right to promote its vision, live and let live, inside its country for its citizens and residents, and adopt a vision of international relationships which, with exactly the same right for every single country, being able to organize life in its borders, how it wishes, having the absolute right to create its own model without fear from its neighbors. 
simply allowing every country on earth to live and let live. A multilateral vision of international relationships without any external interference or intrusion from others, something the West, where I come from, should seriously meditate. Being here in Serbia, facing Croatia is already a nice symbol. Liberland is clearly my new country of heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. I now have a higher purpose in life, participating in creating my dream country, where the ultimate value of all is freedom. And uh, just to finish, uh, by the way, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. Thank you.